Actor, activist, and all-around cool brother Ozzy Davis once said, Harlem was home. It was where we belonged, where we knew and were known in return, where we felt most alive. As one of its native sons and a gifted soul with as much passion as he has talent, Ronald Draper is using his art to help breathe new life into Harlem and by extension, into the world. I wanted to tell the story of my people. That's my thing. Like When I say people, I'm not talking about just african Americans. I'm not just talking about Harlem. Just telling the story of anyone who needs their story told through artwork. That's why I use quotes. Quotes somehow tell a story without telling the story. Growing up, art wasn't a real job. Some people still think art isn't a real job now, but it can be. It's not a hobby anymore. It's not something I do just for some play money. This is what I'm doing. So shifts as far as how I conduct business, making sure like I'm just creating the experience that people want. Because people don't necessarily just pay for the art, they pay for the experience. And to experience that has people refer you to other people. So I just really took a good look or a long hard look at what I was doing and how I can make sure every experience is gonna be better. Whether through pieces in his own gallery, the Draper Space, Harlem Hospital, or a number of locations around the city, Ron does more than simply create artwork that is visually appealing. It is an experience, a blend of mixed media, bold, vibrant colors and quotes that speak directly to whatever he's feeling when the process begins. His art, like all great works, is a part social commentary, part reflection of the artist, and part change agent, helping to bring that which we hold closest to our hearts bubbling to the surface. Art changes things, and Ron has made it his mission to challenge what he knows and what we all know about art, what it can be and what it can do. So I don't think anymore, it's just like if I want an effect, I want to play shattered glass, but I'm gonna buy some glass, I'm gonna shatter it. I'm not gonna focus and try to make that happen through some other means when I can just do it the way I want to do it, do it the way it's meant to be done. I don't care how well you paint broken glass, it's not gonna like an actual broken glass. So it's just an, something that I do just to kind of, it brings a different feel to it. Different senses are touched. So it's not just your eyes, you have to touch it. People, I don't mind who would touch my work. I'm working at a wood and whatever else. It's okay to touch it. So now you're understanding that it's a multi-sensory experience now. So I didn't go out and choose to just say, I want to work with mixed media. It's just it's what I've been doing for years. Like my mother is an artist, so she always had me doing that. I just thought that was the norm. I thought that's what happened. I didn't think that art was something separate. I just thought that was something that was supposed to be done. And what made me realize is when my father died in 2012, the day he died, I, day of his funeral rather, I remember being in my house having spray paint. I remember breaking down a bed that I had and it was a bunch of plywood in, in the hallway. I remember like drawing and spray painting on the plywood and making like a piece of art out of that. And I realized how much it made me feel better. So just being able to do that, like pull inspiration from such a dark place is kind of like inspiring. So the inspiring things aren't what other people would be inspired by. I'm inspired by taking things out of the dark and creating light from it. Because what's in the dark will eat you alive. But you put it into the light, it becomes something of a source of inspiration and just accomplishment. As a teacher, he's helping to shape young minds and prepare them to face their futures confidently in the face of all obstacles, self-imposed or otherwise. Being able to turn darkness into light and a source of strength doesn't take a magician. It takes bravery and hard work. It takes vulnerability and selflessness to take seriously the charge to lead, guide, and to transform. With his work becoming more recognizable, Ron is using his platform to offer little brown boys and girls in Harlem the chance to have their voices heard through their art, to free themselves and to challenge their greatness.